Mark Hughes may be a young manager, but he has the cutting edge of desire. Hens dropping three of his senior players and bringing in a couple from the fringes. Robbie Savage, Brett Emerton and Shefty Coochie all watch from alongside the manager on the bench. Two guy returns after two games out. David Thompson makes his first start of the season. And David Bentley is rewarded for his winning goal against Charlton with a start. Well, David Moyes called Tim Cahill's three-game suspension a stitch-up, but it means he has to patch up his midfield by making a change. Leon Osman is an April deputy. Everton with the worst scoring record in the Premiership. But for James McFadden again, as James beat his striking partner. Well, Ewood Park may not be a place for the famed hearted today. Two teams who may have the sprinkling of uh, foreign talent, but they do apply the British Bulldog spirit when it comes to their way of playing. Last year, it's just one goal in the uh, two games between the two teams. It's never been a, a high-scoring game, this one. There's only been 17 goals in the last 11 fixtures between the two, so it may be... He who dares today and gets the winner. Here is Craig Bellamy taking on an Everton defence. Henderson's cross skims across the Everton back line. And a good, solid start this from Blackburn. Starts like this against uh, Charlton in the league at uh, the beginning of November. Off to an absolute fly with a goal in the first couple of minutes. Ended up winning 4 1. One of three successive home wins for them. Lucas Neal looking for Bellamy trying to get under the studs of Jose Fiobo who nervously gives away a corner yeah but it's good play from Bellamy he's backing in Fiobo there forcing the mistake from him for the corner and it's a bright opening from Blackburn Rovers and I think you have to look at this team that Mark Hughes has put out today with the likes of Bentley Bellamy Pedersen in there two guy who gets on the ball in the middle of the park as well very attack minded not much of a run up for Pedersen the pressure on Nigel Martin. Well, that's disappointing from Pedersen. Normally excellent from set plays. He whips the ball in the near post or round the back, but he overhits this one. And I just wonder if you were saying about his running up for that ball. He just drops away in that corner. Maybe he couldn't control the flight of it properly. There's McFadden. Supported midfield, but there is David Thompson playing for a new contract at the end of the season when his current deal expires. Breaking down the right, puts in a good cross, reach steps over. Oh, that was a lovely move that didn't have the gloss finish from Pedersen. Well, that's all that was missing was the gloss finish on his weaker right foot. A lovely build up play. Thompson down this right hand side, doesn't give up on it. It's a lovely over from Reed and Pedersen on his weaker right foot. Really, he's just got to control that into the corner, but tries to hit it with too much power and misses the target. Bellamy forces the mistake. Pedersen is supporting act. Waits for Pedersen on his favoured left foot. Pedersen clips it in. Oh! Well, that's fantastic play from Bellamy and then from Pedersen. I think that's a cross. I don't think he was going for goal there. Just overhit it. He's trying to find... Bentley hit the far post, but uh, it didn't get to him, it hit the post and came out. What a bright open game this is. Here is James Beattie driving on. Tries to steady himself. Now Thompson. Bentley. Two guy to Thompson. Ambitious. Overly ambitious. Yeah, and over hit. They've just got to keep the play going, Blackburn. They look so good in the middle of the park. They've got good movement. This is the chance for Pedersen. I think he's trying to clip this into the back post. Gets it a bit wrong. Nigel Martin, I don't think he gets anything on that. It just hits the post and comes out before Bentley can get on the end of it. Little chip over hit. Hits the post and a let off for Everton. But uh, Bellamy did push Pedersen a little bit too wide with the pass. Maybe he could have taken the responsibility himself and came in and had a shot on his right foot, Craig Bellamy. But good play all round for Blackburn Rovers.
Thompson showing willing. Two guy, lovely ball to Reed. Just behind the strikers at the moment. Lucas Neal. Tennyson's the man at the far post. That's where it's aimed, and uh, if it was uncertain of his bearings. Tennyson. Now Michael Gray. Two guy. Nice touch. Oh, worthy of the shot from Thompson. He who uh, sometimes scores. He's got a corner on this occasion. Yeah, but this is excellent play all round. Again, lovely awareness from two guy. Thompson hits it first time on that left foot. Not the better of his two feet. Much stronger on the right side, but it's led to this corner. And at the moment, Blackburn Rovers are rampant. All they need is a goal. Will it come? Pedersen drives it in. Well, on balance, though, Everton have defended well. Nigel Martin hasn't had to... Uh, Dirty his goalkeeping gloves just yet. Well, Neville, better to be safe than sorry. Well, especially away from home, play the percentages. If you're in doubt, head it out. But at the moment, I think you've got to say that Blackburn are dominating this game. As you said, the final shot or final pass from Blackburn hasn't quite been good enough to test Nigel Martin. Pedersen's corner, fires it right in, Martin lost it, and well, doesn't regather it on the penalty spot. Well, he'd made his mind up early on, on this one, Rob, I'm going to come for this, and he got under it rather, it's headed up in the air by James Beatty in the end, and that's a foul by Nelson on him, but he got away with it, did old Nige, but he's been in tremendous form this season for Everton once again, and there's the arm right across his face. Down his arm, referee spot on. Very sharp football. Bentley, hardly been in the game. Gives it to Pedersen. Gray overlaps. There's a queue waiting for the cross, but fault in the queue was Yobo. Great defending it in their post from Yobo, though. Knew where he was, it's good build-up play, look at, him, look at his goalkeeper, look at the players coming in, good position right on that near post. And like all good centre-halves, just hoofs it out and reorganise. Davis. Stretch for Phil Neville. Bellamy left alone. Little headed down from Van der Meijer. In comes from McFadden! Well, his luck can hit the jackpot. Well, this is positive play from Everton, but Van der Meijer, who's still down on the floor, makes this. It's a good ball forward. Missed by James Beatty. Great header from Van der Meijer. And there's McFadden. Who has a, bounces up. Number He's brave. Gets James his head in there before Madden. Michael Gray. Comes across Michael Gray. Just heads it in the corner. Brad Friedel's got absolutely no chance there. But that's a brave header there from Van der Meijer. And as it drops, we've had a nice on the ball. I'm going to get there before you. Determined, gets his header, and that just rolls past Brad Friedel. Absolutely no chance into the bottom corner. And Van der Maid is still down injured. Well, James McFadden has been telling the manager ever since he arrived that he's a striker. And since he's arrived, the manager's told him he has to be braver. Well, the combination of the two then, bravery and finishing. Well, it's brave from him and brave from that man as well. Van der Maid stuck his head in there. He's got his team the rewards and McFadden the goal because of it. And only Everton's sixth goal of the season. James McFadden off the mark. That's a shock to the system. Blackburn with two thirds of the possession, playing the ball around, really making. Many great strides, Everton with a rare attack, taking the only real opportunity of the game so far. Here is the creator of that goal, Van der Meijer. That's what happens when you're so much on top, Robin, you don't get that goal. It's 
suddenly the confidence goes a little bit and it gives the confidence to the other team and that's what's happening here Blackburn started so brightly didn't get the goal with all the possession they had all the play and then Everton have gradually gained in confidence and belief well here is Beatty steals the ball oh that was handball that was handball the referee didn't see it and went for the assistance of his official now he has to decide whether it was intentional or not but I think Andy Todd's in big trouble here of his last man and he could be off here well it's in the hands of the referee's assistant mark warren on the far side he used his hand Beatty was through and it's a tough call for mark halsey well i think you've got to say it's a clear goal scoring opportunity here i think it'd be a red card inevitable according to the letter of the law tough on todd and tough on Blackburn. But those are the rules of the game, we all know it. James Beattie won the ball, he's picked it away. And Andy Torres has come across, it's hit his arm. And it's a clear goal-scoring opportunity for James Beattie. And the referee has no alternative but to send him off. And well, Mark Halsey almost apologetic to the Blackburn Rovers players. He sought advice from Mark Warren, the man with the flag on the far side. And once he said that it was handball and Beattie was through, and according to the scriptures, Todd had to walk the plank. Well, if the assistant gives it, well, the referee's got no alternative but to send him off. And that's what's happened to Andy Todd. Now, fellow professionals will feel for him. Mark Hughes bottles up his as you would say, anger and disappointment. Greg Bellamy, unfortunately, takes the protest a touch too far and gets his name in the book as well. The fact is, that it's 10 against 11. And they're 1 0 down as well, Rob. And without the captain. And he's played extremely well. Andy Todd, they're going to have to rearrange the back line now. Not only have they conceded a goal, now had their captain sent off and they've got to re really dig deep and make sure they don't concede anything from this free kick. A ring of booze around Ewing Park. Free kick as a result of the red. Taken by Arteta! The Emerson fans thought it was in. Well, it looked like it was in from here as well. Brad Friedel went to his right, the ball went to his left, and that's just inches away from putting Everton 2 0 up. It was a scrape of paint away, wasn't it? That really would have been a dagger to the heart of Blackburn Rovers. in a good cross and that skimmed the ball goodly handled exceptionally well by Nigel Martin. Well, good play from David Thompson, just that final ball again, letting him down. He's tried to whip that in with pace across the six-yard box and just come off the outside of his boot and Nigel Martin was alert to it. There's Phil now. Stephen Reid, it's asking a lot of him at the moment, but just more and more pressure building on Blackburn. Well, Blackburn do have uh, 
Kishanishvili on the bench. So that's going through the mind of Marquis to bring on an extra defensive player. Arteta, great free kick. Oh, he was right uh, in the right place. Unfortunately, David Weir is not a natural scorer of goals. Whipped in there with plenty of pace, takes everybody out. David Weir coming around the back, but he's too far wide of the goals to get it back across. He's really stretching for it. He threw himself at it. But Everton really, now with that goal in front and against ten men, really are taking the game to Blackburn. Bellamy, the only player to be booked in the first half. Very hard for Blackburn to break down this resolute Everton team. They're so well drilled under David Moyes. They don't give many goals away, and when the opportunities come your way, you've got to take them. But James Beat is working so hard up there for Everton, and when they're under pressure, they can just hit it long, and he will chase everything and put his body in the way and put the Blackburn defenders under pressure. If he goes. with two goals at the moment so sparse has been the strikers season for the Merseysiders here's Leon Osman hasn't scored in ten months Neville McFadden he's looking bright and breezy Weir don't pass it back was the drive from the bench but uh, Weir ignores that Possession. Lucas Neal. Two going. Well, remember, Blackburn Rovers were behind in the League Cup in midweek. Two goals down against Charlton. But they did have the full complement. Well, it just shows that they've got the desire and the belief here at Blackburn. But when you're playing at home with ten men against a team like Everton, and you're one nil down, it's very hard to get back into these type of games. Bentley, Yobo, he's had a top-class game, he's won everything. So he should for his size, though, when you're up against Bellamy, you know, there's got to be better delivery into the front men, it's got to be into their feet most of the time, or into their chest, because if it's anything higher than that, Yobo's and Weir are going to lap it up all afternoon. There's Michael Gray. Just a couple of minutes remaining in a tight, tense first half. Much as we expected. A lot of bustle, a lot of bustle. A goal coming from uh, tenacity, a cocktail of tenacity, and a defensive mistake. Yobo has made no mistake, transfers the pressure onto Ryan Neal. And a great header, BT. Fights his own battle. Now McFadden. He's going to have to go solo, he has no support, but he's got the skills. Plays it back, Ateta! He gets the goal, but it was down to the work of his teammate. Yeah, it was fantastic play. Long ball forward again under pressure. James Beatty. And it's Osman in there, picks it over the defender's head, draws the, the next defender, and then has the awareness to so lay this back for Arteta. And Arteta is in his stride, he doesn't have to hold his stride at all. Lovely setup, and he just comes on with that famous right foot of his and passes that in the back of the net. And Brad Friedel, absolutely no chance, and that's Everton 2 0 up. And this is an excellent all round goal from Everton's point of view. Off the mark in the Premiership this season, Mikel Arteta. And David Moyes is asking Lewis Adagon as the Spanish national team coach to come and have a look. Now, this is where Beattie was throwing his weight around. He got there, there ahead of two guy. And that's very heavily, and the referee chose to play on. Yeah, and I think he's got it spot on the referee. Let the play go and Everton get the rewards because it had been a free kick to them. But you have to say that James Beattie is having a good afternoon, putting himself around and other players around him are getting the goals. Tindall Everton. 
what a turn up for their travelling support. First time this season they've scored two goals in a game. Paxton. It's going to be some rip roaring team talk from Mark Hughes' side. So we're in the comfort zone, but they were dictating what happened in the game until Todd was given his orders. Two minutes of time added on, that's a minimum of two minutes. Only two minutes of time added on by the officials. I think what you say, Rob, I think Mark Hughes would be very disappointed because his team started so brightly, didn't score, and then put themselves under a little bit of pressure. Osman, creator of that second goal. It's on the play. And then Everton got in front, and Blackburn had no answer to that to get the captain sent off. And now just on half time, they go 2 0 down, and really. It's asking a lot of the manager to change things around when you've got ten men and get back into a game when you're 2-0 down. Thompson, forward in possession by Davis. Just about a sentence's apology. Apology, should I say. Yeah, just about. It comes across. Tony Thompson goes to the floor. Tyler Davis apologises, but Tomo's not happy about that. He just gets up and walks away. Mark Polsey. Gives him a little lecture and the game goes on. Great. Bellamy. It's for something special. Pat it out. By Nigel Martin. His most difficult moment in the game, really. Yeah, but it's positive play from Bellamy again. Things open up. He takes on the shot. It's a good strike, but uh, Nigel Martin stands up, pushes it down and collects it on the second attempt. The striking role, beating, breathing very heavily down the neck of Lucas Neal and had to be skipped away by Bradford and had no option. It's time beyond the stoppage time now. Osman. It's quite a bite for one so slight. Very nice. Pantomime season, isn't it? is heard as the home supporters rather stunned by the cause of events at Ewood Park the turning point the red card to Andy Todd once the referee's assistant had spotted the handball they decided it was a goal scoring opportunity Todd was off Everton then come on strong to score their second goal from Mikel Arteta Fallon getting the first Blackburn continue to protest, but the fact is, at Ewood Park, it's Blackburn nil, and it's a two. Welcome back to Ewood Park. A couple of changes at half-time. One possibly anticipated, one not expected at all. Richard Wright is thrown in. As Nigel Martin uh, picks up a bit of a strain in the latter stages of the first half. Richard Wright didn't have the best of luck last year. The last two games he's played, he's conceded ten goals for Everton. Blackburn have made a change as well. Tactical, David Thompson has been sacrificed. And they brought on the extra defender in Jurab Kiznishvili. News on Nigel Martin is that his injury is a groin strain. of the Football League. This is Everton's record-setting 4,000th game in top-flight football. It's a happy 4,000th anniversary so far for them. Very happy indeed. 2-0 up. The first time they've scored two goals in one match this season, in the Premiership anyway. And they're very hard to break down, as we've all said. Very well marshaled at the back, and it's going to be a 
hard second half for Blackburn Rovers to get anything out of this game. The real stat, of course, is that uh, Everton have had three clean sheets in the last four games. And those who bet on Blackburn will also tell you that they've lost every league game. And the opponents have scored first, and that dates back to April of 2003. to be uh, playing with three at the back. Maybe Mark Hughes takes a gamble. There's Nelson to Reed. Did look uncomfortable and he's has to play as an emergency defender. Neil back on the right. Gray. To Guy. Bentley. Adam Hibbert so far today. Gray teases one in. And the backup keeper Richard Wright leaves it to his defenders. Here they go again. Black a great cross. Oh! Completely unmarked. Pedersen appeared to close his eyes. Well, he's got to do better, Rob. The manager's made changes at half time. And it seems to work for them. Lovely ball in from Neil. Pedersen all round the back. Unmarked. And he misses the target, and Richard Wright is pleased to see that go past his right-hand post without, without having to make a save. He heads it down as Pedersen, but he must hit the target and score and get Blackburn Rovers back in this game. So they've come out fighting, as one would expect of a Mark Hughes team. Reed. Neil. That'll be a first touch. All right. First appearance of the season. Well, that's a nice easy touch for him. His first touch should have been getting out of the back of the net. Pedersen, with that chance there, really should have scored. As he should have scored early on when it was 0 0 on his right foot at the other end. What's oh, a terrible back pass now? Beatty can't be offside here. Hence the scramble clearance from Ryan Nelson. He's enjoying his return to the area of his roots. And the made up. Through the legs of Gray, won't like that. Pick Balls it in. What a convincing clearance. Worth a shot. And Friedel had to hang on to it with has been waiting for the bits and pieces that may have been spilled. Well he did have to hold on to it and it's poor defending at the back stick by Lucas Neal. In that position he's got to head it out for a corner, not head it back into play and give Everton the opportunity to get a shot at goal. That's what he did. He could have found his team 3-0 down. seconds to see if things develop. He gives Everton the free kick. Now they begin to motor. Fun and play to the crowd. Philip Neville. The three signals that wasn't handball. Bentley, little teaser. Bellamy away. What speed over ten yards. And he shoots from well what was an impossible angle. What great willing from the Welsh international striker. Yeah, but lovely build up play. Weird as well, pushes him wide. It's very difficult for Craig Bellamy to get any power in that. He's so wide, hitting it back across the goalkeeper, and it's a couple of save for Richard Wright. But Craig Bellamy, Bellamy had no other option but to take the shot on. Great. Oh, Yobo didn't get there, but uh, we are not 
steps up for him. And come back, willed on by the Civic support. Reed was found. Arteta clearly doesn't agree. Well, there's no need for Arteta to make the challenge there and give the free kick away. Because he's holding Reed up, he's pushing him back. There he is, Reed's going away. Arteta just gives him a little chug there, I think, Rob. That's why the free kick was given. No need to dive in like that. And there's a little coming together there, Reed and Arteta. Handbag stuff. But the referee deems that to be a yellow card. Well, I think it was maybe Arteta's reaction, the fact that he faced up to Reed that got him into trouble. Tarjeta Amaria. Yellow card. Very nice, Rob. Is that what they say in Lancashire? <laughs> This gives two guy a chance to put a quality ball in. We know he's got quality, but can somebody take one of these chances that Blackburn are creating? Away by Weir. Significance of that uh, yellow card is that Mikel Arteta is now on five and will serve a suspension. Well, there's a clash of heads there. The referee brings play to a halt as Pedersen went barging into Yobo. Well, Yobo gets up so well, look how high he gets up. Pedersen just comes across him late, leading with his, with his arm, and it's a definite free kick. Mark Halsey, spot on there again. But a little bit of frustration from Pedersen, because he knows he should have really got his side back into this game in the first minute of the second half with that header. Gosman. is past one, or <laughs> through the legs as well, which will have hurt two guy, but uh, McFadden didn't make any great distance with that. Yeah, but it's good play from McFadden in one way, but really the players are lining up in the 18-yard box, there's four of them in the box, and really he shouldn't put the delivery into the box rather than getting nutmegs on people. I know his team are 2-0 up, but there's still a lot of work to be done in this game. Villa lets the ball go, gives it to Gray, a little room to work him. Nelson, Gray. And Freel didn't get a sniff of either of the Everton goals. Oh, a wonderful movement from Arteta. <laughs> PT came off worse. Referee right on top of it, says he wasn't fouled. Boots is still down, nose to tough, a little more windy than anything else. Gray. Good drive this from ten-man Blackburn. Teasing good ball in the oboe. He's been certain with everything. Well, some turn around against Charlton, can they do it again as it comes across and... intense concentration. And the keeper thrown in to the cold of Eagle Park this afternoon. Well, it's a good save because it comes through so many players. It's whipped in by Bentley. Reed trying to get on the end of it. If he got the slightest of touches, it would have probably gone past Richard Wright or Yobo for that matter. But no touch on it, and Richard Wright watched it all the way, and that's a good save. Davis, great ball. Beat his onside right across <laughs> Ryan Nelson and. Uh, the former Blackburn Rovers apprentice hoops the ball into the fans who support him these days. The Everton supporters behind Brad Friedel's goal. Yeah, but, it's, but it's a good run from him, James Beattie, across the line. He stays on side. It's a lovely pass from Simon Davis, but the so finish was poor. Everton, Andy Van Der Vega to be replaced by number nine, Duncan Ferguson. Andy Van Der Vega has run himself into the ground, still trying to find full fitness. Uh, made an impressive contribution in the first half, leading to one of the goals, and the last man you want to see coming on when your defender is uh, raw-boned Duncan Ferguson. Well, again, it's a positive move from David Moyes. They're 2-0 up, and he's gone with two strikers, BT and Ferguson up there, and you know what you're going to get with Big Duncan. You get it into his feet, he's got a good touch, but if you put it in the air, he's so commanding in the air from set plays at the two centre-backs now. Iskas Billy and Ryan Nelson, I know they're in for a match. Nelson. 
Pedersen. Gray. Is going to have to come quite a long way out and literally uses his head. Two guy. Keshnish Gelly. Teaser for Bellamy. Great first touch from Bellamy. It's a good cross coming in from the wing. Is Michael Gray. Hibbert knew what was behind him. Took the sensible option. Good pressure again from Blackburn Rovers. And Gray coming in round the back from the cross from the opposite number, the right back. But uh, Hibbert flicks it away. Two guy. When they work, they're award winning in those set piece situations. Great delivery from Pedersen. Two guy hits this well, but it's leaning back on it a little bit. Can't keep it down. But that's not far away. Yobo, Ferguson still can't get there. Davis, precise pass to the substitute Kilbert. Kilbert teases it up on the head of Beater. There's a call from McFadden to leave it. That he does. Now to Osman. Little chip in, Ferguson! Well, that's great build up play from Everton and a very important header at the end there. To take it off. Duncan Ferguson's head, otherwise that would have been nestling in the back of the net. Now McFadden, it's a good ball. It's not a bad time for Everton when their right back is offside. Well, he's made the run from deep, but Blackburn defence have pushed up, played BT and Ferguson well, offside. There's a little bit of set to down here, Nigel, between Hibbert and Pedersen. Hardly two of the game's hard men, but a little fallout. Wisely broken up by the referee's assistant. I think it's just frustration. They've been running away with the ball, trying to waste time. Pedersen didn't like it, tried to pull it off him. And then they go chest to chest. And the referee has a word with them to calm down. We don't want anybody else sent off in this match. Let's get on and enjoy the football. Bellamy still chases that. Right comes, misses his punch again. And uh, Weir hoofs it away to safety. Well, they're still giving it their best shot, aren't they, Blackburn? But they need a goal desperately now. Try and put the pressure right on Everton. Bentley, great ball through there is Kirchi. Great tackle by Yobo and an adventurous shot in the circumstances. Well, Cucci's frustrated there, it's a lovely ball played through, he goes for it, Yobo comes across, but look, Pedersen could just put this back into the six-yard box, Cucci's there, he's got a chance. When Pedersen takes the shot in from this angle, there's no way of beating Richard Wright from there, he's leaning back on his right foot, he's come out and he's put it well wide. A rather disappointing attendance today of 22,064. They're all out doing their Christmas shopping. <laughs> David Moyes may hope to join in, uh, when the winter transfer window reopens. Searching for a striker, but he's got two new names on the uh, score sheet in the Premiership for this season anyway, and Arteta and McFadden. I think he'd be pleased with the way his team's gone about this today. They took a lot of pressure early on, didn't concede, they defended very well. And then it got in front. Okay, Blackburn had a man sent off, and then Everton scored again just before half time. But other than that, they played extremely well. I think they've got the bit between the teeth and the Premiership back between their teeth now, having the disappointment early on in the season, Rob, of getting knocked out of the Champions League. Another well, Champions League out of the UEFA Cup. A short space of time, but back in business in the Premier League.
Madison. Takes a deflection and right hand to just stay away from it and watch it roll out of play. Colkeeper clearly thought that he was going for a goal kick, but he came off his uh, own defender. And he came off James Beatty there. Took a wild swing at it. It's come off his thigh. Pedersen again. Right. Good catch. That is a good catch. He's been put under a lot of pressure this time. Comes for it and gathers it. Hasn't had a good run for a few seasons now, but since Nigel Martin arrived, virtually played seven games last year, conceded 20 goals. Always seemed to be thrown in at the wrong time. Hanging on for the clean sheet, though. And 18 minutes remain. Nice touch. Osman. Davis. Now hit it. McFadden. Happy to play on the left wing. Into Osman. This roaming role asking a lot of Hibbert, but he goes offside. We're good to see Tony Hibbert getting forward and trying to get in behind. That's very tight one, that. I know it's right in front of the assistant. But it's a very tight run. And I'm not so sure he was offside. Yobo. Well, he was a little heavy-handed in the opinion of Mark Halsey. His eyes were fixed on the ball, and he uh, used Bellamy as a bridge to get to it. I think that's a correct decision, it's a free kick. Yobo has won the header, but he's come right through as he's won the header. And put Bellamy to the floor, and this is an opportunity now, and I think this will be Pedersen with his left foot. It's a better angle for the left footer to test Richard Wright. I know what would Blackburn give for a goal here. In this remaining eight minutes or so, they get a goal now. It could be back to the wall for Everton. Blackburn in desperate need of an injection of inspiration. It is Pedersen. Uh, catch those all day. It's like a warm-up free kick, wasn't it? There was no real conviction in it, no real pace in it. It's got it over the wall, but Richard Wright watched it all the way, and that's a comfortable save in his midriff. That was late. Now Kelsey has tried his very best not to take any names today. Maybe the one tough decision was inevitable when he had to send Andy Tuttle. It'll be interesting to hear Mark Hughes' interpretation of that situation. Oh, we are soon to be leading with our men as it came down to Gray. Goal kick. Well, as we said at the incident, if the assistant gives it handball, and unfortunately Andy Todd is the last man and the referee has no other option but to send him off. It's a clear goal-scoring opportunity for James Beattie. And that's why the assistants want to be called assistants and not linesmen these days. They want to assist the referee. But I'm sure Mark Hughes might have a lot to say about that after this game. Kishneshvili. And as we're not wanting to try anything too clever. Slippery conditions. It's been a little bit of a, a light drizzle in these northern parts. Yoba, well, he's been a 10 out of 10 performer today. Beatty, Osman. Great run this from Osman. Beatty ahead of him, draws defenders, wills them to foul him. Gives it to McFadden. And Gray did enough. Yeah, but it's a good opportunity gone to waste. James McFadden, he wanted the ball played quicker to him from Osman. Osman delayed it. Bad first touch, but he's got his side a corner. Less than five to go. Fadden's corner kick. Away is the cry. Phil Neville. 
Berger to send it here to be offside, but the flag stayed down. McFadden to the shot, is it a cross? Neither, really. Well, it's just a poor cross, really. Duncan Ferguson had pulled away back stick, really Jones McFadden's got plenty of time and space just to put the lovely ball into the back post and he whips it in with too much pace straight to the goalkeeper. Some of the Blackburn fans voting with their feet. They can't see a major comeback Not for the second time in a week. The win that takes Everton to within two points of Blackburn Rovers. Where is the grind? It's been a much improved month for Everton. Defensively, they've been really dogged, got things together. More like the side of last season. Yeah, I think they, you can see that today. Their confidence is coming back. They weathered that storm from Blackburn early on, and then they started to come into the game, get more confidence, and they've got their rewards. The sending offs helped them as well. But they're in a good vein of form at the moment. But Blackburn are in a good vein of form as well coming into this game, especially at home. Team are two down and a man down. Reed to Emerton. Worth a shot. Handling of right is safe and sound, though his kicking left a bit to be desired. Osman come back into the team today and he's uh, shown great heart, great desire. Set up a goal. If it was late. Also keeping his card average down by uh, not giving a free kick that he's going to throw. Tough one for right comes down from uh, the floodlights. I'm sure he wishes Nigel Martin the best, but being a professional deep down, hoping that the old man has a rest for a few weeks. Well, the thing is, at any football club, especially in the Premiership, you need two or three top-quality goalkeepers. Nigel Martin's been playing extremely well, that's why Richard Wright hasn't had a run in the team. But with all the games coming up over Christmas, New Year, you need all your players to be available. There's Davis, great. Run this from Davis, he's beaten one, he's beaten two. The angle is a long way out. Before to take his time. Or well, maybe the fact that they were 2 0 up meant that he didn't go direct for goal and... He could just uh, look at the options. Well, it's a great run through the middle, but this touch lets him down. It takes him away from the goal, away from Brad Friedel, and then he should have just laid it there for Duncan Ferguson to have a shot. But he's won his team to throw it in the far corner, and they won't be unhappy about that as we come into the final minute. absorbing everything that Blackburn threw at them. Typical away day performance, the game was turned by Todd sending off, and since then it's Everton who've been dictating the pace, really. Yeah, this take nothing away from Everton. They played extremely well, and another good professional performance away from home, and David Moyes and Alan Irvin will be extremely pleased with the way they play today. Well then. <laughs> Troy and the Ralph River. Pedersen and Neil unhappy down there, but I'm sure they've been doing the same thing in the same situation. They're just sucking players in to make them fail you and get free kicks and kill the game. There is Kilban. <laughs> oh, he's pulling his shirt off him then, but the referee's giving it the other way. Neil in a real hurry to take it, which is good desire. They've not gone into hiding despite... Obviously they've been defeated today, Blackburn Rovers. Hughes can look into his players' eyes when the final whistle goes and can be reasonably proud of the effort and the endeavour that they've shown in the heart of the never give up of time added attitude. On. That's a minimum of two minutes. Will be two minutes of time added on by the officials. BT goes for goal though. Friedel sure handed. Still hasn't given up the chase. It's a mighty kick from the American. Cucci. Emerton winner. 
Davis does well. He's had a great game in midfield today. Simon Davis showing more of uh, his defensive side than his uh, offensive side. Yeah, but he's taking a job for the team, hasn't he? He's worked extremely hard in there, breaking up things, getting his foot in like that. Doing the job for the team. There's Ferguson to kill that. The Blackburn Rovers, man of the match, sponsored by Peter Jackson, the, the referee is Ryan Nelson. Blackburn Rovers out of their agony. They can't make it four wins in a row. Everton, for the first time this season, score two goals in a game. And the chances came their way, they took them. Lead given by McFadden. A few minutes later, Andy Todd was sent off, a handball, last man. When the referee conferred with his assistant, it was inevitable. And then Everton took control. Mikel Arteta scoring his second. Blackburn still clearly unhappy. But uh, Mark Hulse is sticking to the letter of the law. Convincing win for Everton in the end at Ewood Park, which Blackburn Rovers nil, Everton 2. Obviously, there's always controversy in, in the games, and there, there was a sending off today, but we were 1 0 up at the time. Uh, and we don't know if that would have made a difference with them going down to 10 men or not. You got uh, you got your strikers role that you've been asking for for a long time. The managers maybe asked for a bit more bravery. You gave him bravery for the goal, and you gave him a goal as well, didn't you? Yeah, it was. Uh, I've been saying for a while now that <clears throat> I want a chance up front, and, and the manager's given it to me, and, and I've got a goal. But ironically, I got moved to the left midfield <laughs> at the time that I scored the goal. So hopefully, I can continue to be on the side and, and playing up front. Well, Debbie, congratulations. It was maybe a game that turned on one decision. Would be that. Be fair to say? Yeah, yeah I think it, it helped us. Uh, obviously, it didn't help Blackburn. Uh, you know, At the time, I thought he handballed it, but I couldn't be sure whether it was deliberate or, or was it stopping a goal scoring opportunity. Uh, but I think the referee and the linesman got together and, and felt that it was. So, uh, uh, no fortunate for us, unfortunate for Blackburn. But uh, I think we were a goal up when the sending off happened, but uh, that helped it. You kind of tamed the course of things because you were able to maybe come out of your defensive shell and not have to absorb as much. Well, we after the way the game started, you know, Blackburn were terrific for 20 minutes. You know, we, we couldn't get the ball off them, they get in behind us. We actually had to change a little bit. And even when they went down to 10 men, I still feel, found Blackburn were a, were a threat. They, I saw them playing midweek against Charlton and I thought they were excellent. And, uh, no, I didn't change my view today. Their, their passing's improved no end here at Blackburn and they're doing very well. The fact that you scored two goals for the first time in a game this season, does it indicate now that maybe the corner has been turned? Well, I hope so, but uh, you know, it's nice when you get two, but I still felt uneasy with two. I'd like to get a third one and then you know, sort of put it to bed if we could do. But uh, as I said, Blackburn you know, kept playing, trying to get a goal, and they kept us under pressure.